Hey everyone, Spencer Kaufman here with How To Video Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Viver 8840 Magnetic Base Drill. Uh, if you want to see the unboxing video for this product, check it out in a card up here. It is on the Honest Reviews YouTube channel. It was packed very well, so now we're going to show you how to set it up because it came in a bunch of pieces. So real quickly, what we have here are a few Allen wrenches. This is your needle. This is obviously the chuck. This is a chuck key. This here is a tube for the water. This is a safety strap. You'll want to use that. Uh, this is part of the assembly for the chuck. So if you're going to use that. <clears throat> These are the handles to operate the drill press or the press part. These are all of your hollow core bits. And this is a water tank. And of course, this is the drill. So in order to set this up, the first thing you need to do is obviously unpack it all, but start on this side. And this water tank needs to be assembled. So this goes right here. There are two little knobs that you can unscrew. The first one needs to come out all the way. The second one doesn't because it has an opening right here that you can just slide this over on that one if you get it out far enough. Let me get it a little closer for you. Then you can just slide it right over the top. And then this nut will be screwed in this hole here. Let me get this out of the way. And then you can see it maybe right there. I'd lift it up for you or zoom in, but that's okay. You'll get the idea. So you just screw that in. Make sure these are tight. When you operate the drill press, uh, you will obviously want to have this filled with water. There's going to be another video, and I will show you uh, the operation of the press. So check that out in a card up here. I'll show you how to use this. Uh, next, we can stick that in there. All right, then we're gonna get the hose. So this hose is going to go from here to here. So you can put it in and then this is your adjustment of how much water flows in and out. So that's gonna go here. Then you can just open it very slightly, just a tad. So you don't want too much water we want just enough and you're going to have to trial and error that based on the drilling process. Next thing to do is turn this puppy around and put the handles in. So these are very, very simple. You line them up, get them screwed in properly here. For some reason, they're not going. Maybe they are specific. Very interesting. You shouldn't have to drill these or tap them out. They should be pre-threaded. But it seems that on this product, let me see here. Maybe I just have to get it started a little. Huh. No. Nope. Well, hopefully yours goes in a lot better, but it looks like these threads are too large to fit in this hole, which is very, very odd. Let's try this side. All right, that one goes in no problem. So it's possible that some of the paint is causing an issue. We'll try this one here. Or that uh, each one has to be in its own place. Yeah, this one is not going in very well, but it seems that we can crank on it. So it must be the paint. So if yours, for some reason, doesn't work, then of course uh, there is a great support URL. Uh, customer service email, actually. Customer service at viver.com. 
So contact them if yours has trouble because this one here, you can check this out. Let me zoom in. This one here you can see isn't threaded all the way in, whereas this one is. And so obviously that is going to be an issue uh, going forward because you, you're going to want this all the way in. So if yours doesn't go all the way in, then you need to contact customer support and see what the reasoning is behind this. Maybe it needs to be blown out or cleaned out a little bit. It's probably the paint. But you're definitely going to want that to be secure. Or maybe you just need a little more elbow grease and get it all the way turned. Let's see if we can get this last one. That one's very, very stubborn. We're going to make it. All right. So there we go. And you can see here, this is the track. So this is working. If for some reason uh, this wasn't sliding appropriately for you, then you need to turn it around. And there are three little Allens. Let's get that out of your way. These three here, you can loosen or tighten to help the track slide properly if you're having any track issues. All right, so now the next thing you need to know is how to install the chuck if you need to be using this for any type of drilling. Um, hopefully, you're going to be using this with hollow core drill bits, so we're going to start with that one. You use this needle, take one of the hollow core drill bits, open it up. This is very, very easy. Take the needle, put it through here. All right. This part, we're going to crank this guy all the way up. Now, this is where the tightening of these screws might come in handy. You could crank this up, tighten this guy to hold this up. For right now, we're not going to worry about it. I'm just going to simply tip this back so you can see the process. You've got your set needle in. Okay, you can see it in there. Then you're gonna take this. You have to adjust these two set screws. So fortunately, they gave another Allen wrench that you can use. So it's just a matter of finding the right one. So loosen those set screws as much as possible. Don't lose them. All right, then there is a flattened side on here, two sides that are flat. That is where the set screws need to touch. If you put it in this way, it's not going to be strong. It's not going to stay where it needs to be. So make sure these flat places are right where those set screws are. Can't be turned one way or another. You gotta line it up properly. It will snap in there. Then simply tighten up those set screws. See here, it's pretty stable. If you loosen it up, it might fall out. So you'll want to make sure that you have this in there appropriately, preferably all the way. If you need to, you can lay it down. It's not going to hurt it. You can lay this down just like that. Tighten the set screws. They don't need to be uh, tightened like with a pliers or anything wrenching on this. You just need to have them hand tight with a little leverage. So there you go. That would be that. Then be careful lifting it up because if you didn't tighten the side screws here, this will still move. So there we go. Now, the next thing you would need to do for operation would be to use this safety strap, run it through the base right here, strap it down to whatever you're drilling, and then of course fill this with water so that you can operate this drill. So that is how to install a hollow core bit. Now let's find out how to install the chuck. So if for some reason you needed to use a different type of drilling application, then you can do that as well. So now we're going to just loosen this. Loosen this one. 
to move the bit. You do not need either of these items for this. Instead, you need to use this one that is a bunch of crazy little letters and numbers. Open that up. Take it out of the plastic. And then you can see here it has the same flat sides. That's going to go right in here like this. So make sure those are loose enough. This is a very, very tight fit. Take them all the way out. Doesn't seem to be sliding in as easily as it should. Again, it could be just the newness of material. But this should go in there all the way for you. It's definitely not on mine. And then you would take this piece and screw it on here. So maybe what we'll do is screw this on first and see if we can use that as leverage. So you screw that in. All right. Then of course this is operates like a standard drill. You have the chuck key that can, you know, tighten any type of bits or anything you want to add. So that would be like if you have bits that aren't made specifically for this type of attachment. But then this should go right in there. As you can see, this tool is not uh, it's not fitting in there properly. There aren't any other set screws. So this should be going in no problem. But you can see it's not. It's There's some resistance there. So rather than forcing it or anything, what you would want to do if this is happening to you, uh, reach out to support and find out what's going on. See if they need to send you a new piece or a new, a new, you know, something or if they have any ideas, I'm sure that you could take a hammer and just kind of pop that in or even uh, heat this up a little bit with use. That might go right in there. But as you can see, this is not going in very well, but you get the idea of how this would work. I got it in a little bit, but getting it out might be tough. So this would slide in right here and then you would tighten these set screws to use this chuck. So. That is it. That is how to assemble the Viver drill press. Uh, be sure to check out the how-to video because I'm going to show you how to use this and drill a hole. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty fun. So that'll be a nice video for you to check out. And of course, check out the unboxing video. And then also there will be a review of the product on Honest Reviews YouTube channel that you might want to take a look at as well. Uh, I'll be mentioning all of the little things that didn't work, such as, you know, screwing those in, and obviously this didn't fit in there, so uh, that that's also a, a little bit of a problem. But check all those videos out. Also, hit the subscribe button on this channel. Hit the like button as well on this video. As you can see, this is completely genuine. I didn't rehearse any of it. I didn't, uh, you know, try to make it better than it was. This was a real life application of setting this up so that you can now open up your box, check it out, set it up, and hopefully will not have any issues. If you do have any problems, feel free to comment below. I'll do what I can to help you out. Otherwise, again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell icon to stay tuned to future videos. Thank you.